Hi, John here again, Tiger Seal Product Service Manager. And today we're going to go a little more in depth on a common issue that we get a lot of calls about, and that's constant tape jamming. So let's zoom in and kind of talk about what can cause tape jamming on your 555 ES. Now, all machines are good, that carry paper will occasionally jam. It's the frequent jamming where every day, every hour, you're getting a tape jam. First thing you want to do is check inside your tape basket area and make sure both tape guides are in and being used properly. They're set to the proper width of the tape. If one or both of these guides are missing, the tape will skew and jam constantly. So you want to make sure those guides are in. That's the first thing you want to make sure of. Second thing is make sure your upper tape plate is in. If without this upper tape plate, the tape is going to jam up in this area right here. You do have to have the upper tape plate in, and notice how easy it is to remove and install. So make sure it's not bent um, or damaged in any way, so it just drops right in. Because a bent upper tape plate will cause tape jamming. The other big issues that cause tape jamming are going to be the moistening brushes. Now, this is a set of new moistening brushes. This machine came in for service, so we've cleaned it and we put in new moistening brushes. But I want to show you, if your moistening brushes look like this, you're probably going to get a lot of tape jamming. What you should do is wash the brushes out monthly, and if all possible, I mean, it, it, just replace them after so many years. They're just going to wear down. So that can cause tape jamming. The other thing that we find that can cause tape jamming is a buildup of mineral deposits under the heater and the lower heater plate. So you want to remove, the, you can scrape the heater. The best thing to do though, ultimately, is to remove the heater and clean it properly. And by mineral deposits, let me show you this heater. This is a bad heater, but can you see on the, all the mineral deposits and glue and paper that's kind of stuck on this heater? Well, that's going to cause jamming because the papers, the tape is going to hit that when it comes out. The thing that we do when we get these machines in for service is we use a drill on the end of a wire brush and we clean the heater off in this area. It's better to take the heater off and in another next video we're going to show you how to replace the top heater and that will show you how to remove the top heater for a complete cleaning. But even temporarily a razor blade or just knocking off that crap that's there will help. Finally the last thing is the safety baffle plate. This plate right here, when you put your tank in, the safety baffle plate helps guide the tape over the moistening brushes. If this plate is bent down, and it can happen, people can rest on it, lean on it, and it starts to bend down, the tape will come out and hit the leading edge of the moistening brushes and back up into the machine. So what we wanna do is basically just Put a little pressure from your thumbs and push that plate up just a little bit and that can relieve a lot of tape jamming if that plate has been bent down. So now all this is predicated on the fact that you're getting a clean tape cut. If you're not getting a clean tape cut like that, if you get a raggedy edge on your tape, the next piece will automatically jam and you will have to replace the shear kit. And we're going to show you how to replace your shear kit in our next video. But for now, those are the main reasons why people get tape jams. Not using the side guides, upper tape plate, worn or really dirty moistening brushes, and glue buildup in this area. The other thing you can do is you can clean these in air, this area right here using foamy bathroom cleaner. And we use uh, whatever, Lysol is good, um, scrubbing bubbles. Um, spray it around, clean it up real good. Now, if you're going to clean the entire machine and spray it down, it's always best to do that late in the evening or day. And that way you let the machine dry overnight because if any of this cleaner gets on the control board, it's going to blow the control board. So you want to let the machine dry after you clean it, if you do a complete cleaning. Well, that's about it for tape jams. Uh, again, if you have any questions or problems, technical issues, parts questions, you can always call us at this uh, 800 number, 800-899-9389. You can also visit our website for any of the parts, whoops, sorry, any of the parts we were, we've been talking about. You can visit tigerseal.com. And again, we thank you for watching our videos. If you have any problems or questions, give us a ring.